Hello and welcome everyone, I'm John Armas, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and today I have another coin which has been sent in by the Silver Trader. Uh, now this is to be reviewed, to be looked at, um, and to show you lots of details. Um, anyway, it is Austria and Germania. Uh, it's part of the um, Germania's Mint um, Allegories a series. Uh, and it's officially by the Germania Mint, uh, and it has 25,000 minted. So, if you like what you see, of course, check the description down below. You can find the link to Silver Trader's website, my own East Bullion, and also uh, the community, the Precious Metal Forum. So, where, of course, you can join up and uh, meet other like minded people and have a good chat. Um, with that being said, uh, apologies today. I've just found out uh, earlier that I had lost somebody, so that was rather close. Um, but uh, the show must go on, so to speak, and uh, I'm not going to have any interruptions, so we're just going to get on with it. So, this is the first thing here uh, that comes with it. It's a COA, or Certificate of Authenticity, uh, by the Germania Mint. Uh, you know... I do like this. I always find that the Germania Mint do a sterling and fantastic job with the presentation and also um, with their execution of the coins for the you know for the most part. Um, inside here we have the official um, coins of uh, Germania Mint, and it says about you know being certified one ounce uh, BU blah 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 as we get. Uh, of course, then we have the category allegories. We have Austria and uh, Germania. Uh, we have a five mark denomination. I'll show you that on the coin. Um, metal content is obviously one on silver. And uh, done, ugh. then down below, we have the mintage 25,000. So this, this release is limited to just 25,000. You know, I like that. I do. <laughs> these, I have enough of these here. Uh, now, of course, you know, just Germania. Um, but these kind of get a little bit annoying as much as I love them. But it does give you quick and easy access. So I guess if you have them in a box, put them in the bottom of the box and, you know, then there you go. So we're going to take a look at the reverse side of the Germania coin. Now it's not a matted or completely matted finish. Uh, it actually has multiple textures, styles, and designs. It's something I actually really like. Um, I've said that for a very long time. Uh, they put a lot of thought and effort uh, into the entire creation here of this. Now, as you can see here at the very top under Germania, uh, in between the crown, we have 2021. Now, this coin should have been released much, much earlier. Uh, however, due to, well, the current climate, if you like, um, they were, you know, slightly put back um, on their schedule. So... Fear not, they are still working hard and the next coin in the series will, you know, surely be out. Um, anyway, we have lots to show here. Uh, we got the oak trees and everything else. We got the boar. We got the Germania seal there, of course, that they always use. And, you know, it's just a lovely crest. Um, I love how they've antiqued the background, meaning like they've distressed it and given it some kind of thought. Uh, it's not just standard there. Uh, the crown above it is, well, it's elegant and, you know, exceptionally executed to high standard. Um, you know, even in a one ounce uh, round, it it's just amazing. Um, I think, especially if I zoom in here, being so delicate, it is just something that you could tell a lot of thought has gone into how it's going to look on a one ounce coin and what features you need to make it stand out. And that's something a lot of, you know, people try to do a design and then scale it up. And it only looks good once it is scaled up or they do a design that's scaled up and they scale it down. So that is the rear side here of the Germania. Again, the five mark down below at the six o'clock position. Uh, comes encapsulated by the silver trader. Um, it has this kind of dome-like effect for the top. So that's the type of capsules the silver trader has them in. Uh, now here we have, well, we have the two pairs. Um, 
Austria and Germania. Now, can you guess which is which? Yeah, if you guys have seen this before, you're gonna know Lady Germania is on the right, uh, just because of her outfit, in all honesty, and Lady Austria has kind of this really weird mermaid-like outfit um, and holding what appears to be a spear. Um, in a lot of ways, she kind of looks like a mermaid. Um, but, you know, it's it's a lovely scene. Um, one of the things that I don't like on this uh, on this series, really, is the faces. Um, now, I, I've always said that. Everything else looks fantastic. The faces always look a bit meh. Um, it's a great looking coin, you know, I mean, I, I can go on and I will go on, you know, about everything, but let's have a look at the faces here for a second and uh, you'll see what I mean. So you got Lady Austria here and it looks like she's missing an eye. I'm trying to even get it into a light that would maybe display that maybe she has the second eye, but no matter what I do, it's like... She's squinting where bugs flown into it. And of course, you know, you have Lady Germania here, who's kind of like giving her the evil eyes. Um, well, we got, of course, <laughs> in true Germania mint style, they're uh, holding hands. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a girl friendly thing, you know, I guess, I don't know. You definitely wouldn't catch me doing that with... Uh, any of you guys, I'll tell you that much, but, uh, you know, give you a fist pump more, more than anything else. That's cool. Uh, that includes girls, by the way, just for the record. Uh, I'm not going to just single that out. Um, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Um, things I do like about this coin. Again, they brought that distressed or kind of ancient, you know, pattern, whatever you really want to call it, um, along the rim, which mirrors, obviously, this back finish here. And uh, I think it really does, you know, help kind of tie the coin together. Um, Lady Germania here is holding on to her dagger, by the way. I didn't really show that off. Um, so you can see, I, well, it looks like a dagger. It might be a sword, really. Because uh, she's normally used to it. I love these dotted uh, patterns in the middle. Uh, just because, well, it reminds me a lot of the Queen's Bee series, something that I thought has always been amazing, always been impressive and just well thought after. And it adds, you know, texture and style. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this dress really quickly. Not for any, you know, great reason, but you can see what I mean about the mermaid kind of scale like uh, dress. It, uh, you know, it looks lovely, it looks well executed. Um, and, uh, I mean, the coin itself, I mean, if you're looking at it here, and I'll just move this slowly, you look at, I guess, her torso, upper body, and legs, and everything, this almost looks three-dimensional. Um, so they've done it so that it's, it's, it's elevated, and it really does stand out. In fact, I could probably, if I took one of my fancy photos here, I could probably turn this into one of those 3D images. Um, and that's just how well that they've actually executed this coin and brought it to such a remarkable standard. So uh, on a scale of one to 10, I, you know, I definitely give this uh, a solid eight and a half uh, out of 10. Um, the Germanium Mint just are constantly improving, constantly making things amazing. Uh, the quality of their work is exceptional in my opinion. Um, I haven't found any coins yet with any major design flaws, um, handling flaws. Um, none of mine that I have in my collection have milked up, spotted, or anything else. I have heard the occasional story, um, but then again, you know, the occasional story, it's, it's ex exceptionally rare when you're talking, you know, of hundreds of thousands of coins. Um, and you know, you may be getting less than a hundred that I've heard of so far. Um, you know, I think that's a exceptionally high number. So, I mean, as with any silver piece, you don't want to take it out of its capsule. You don't want to release it. Uh, you want to store it safely. You know, this is a collector's coin. It's not, uh, as a, you know, a bullion, in, you know, saving coin, uh, not one for starters for sure, but 
it uh you know look after it and of course it should be absolutely fine uh let me know your thoughts and opinions down below if you want um i hope you guys have a great day um if you guys need to talk to me and and or speak to me you can find the link down below you can find me on the personal forum as well again that's also in the description and if you are looking for one of these of course in the description as well as a, a link to silver traders website so thank you very much and i hope everyone has a uh a real real good day and uh there you go. I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye for now.